In this video, we're going to talk about formatting output by using the printf method. So when using the printf method, the first argument is called the format string, and it specifies the format of the text that's going to be printed, and it may contain placeholders that are called format specifiers inside this text. And these format specifiers begin with a percent sign. And there are also format subspecifiers to further format the value's appearance. And we're going to look at a lot of examples of these. This table shows the format specifiers for the printf and the format methods. And I'm just going to talk about the most common ones. So for printing characters in a printf or format method, you use percent %c as the format specifier. For, pr for printing any kind of integer, whether it's an int, long, short, or you can use percent %d, which stands for decimal integer. For printing, let's skip down to the middle, for printing floating point numbers, numbers with a decimal point in them, use percent %f. And for strings, it's percent %s. If you actually just want to print a, a percent character, it's two of those percent signs in a row. And if you want to print out a new line character, that is percent %n. So let's take a look at examples of the commonly used format specifiers using printf. In this example, we have a bunch of variables. We have string name is Bob, age, int age is 20, double weight is 184.5, char initial is B, and int exam score is 100. And we're going to display all these using the printf method. But before we do that, let's display some of these things using just a regular print line method for comparison. System.out.println name is age years old and weighs weight. Let's do that and run them under this program. It shows that Bob is 20 years old and he weighs 184.5. Let's do the same thing using printf. System.out.printf. And the string format looks like this. It's going to be, instead of name, it's going to be percent %s because it's a string. Is percent %d for the, for the age because it's an integer. Years old and weighs percent %f because it's a floating point number for the weight like that and then each of these percent signs serves as a placeholder percent s is the placeholder for the name reference variable so we'll take name comma percent d is the next one in order percent d represents the age because if d is an integer a decimal integer so we'll put age here and then the next one was the weight weight and semicolon at the end and let's run that program and look at the difference it's the same thing it says Bob is 20 years old and weighs 184.5 but by default the percent F displays six characters after the decimal in the next video we'll talk about subspecifiers and we'll show you how to shrink that down to one decimal so let's print out the initial and the exam score system dot out dot print f and we could say percent in the quotation marks the format string we're going to type percent s for the string apostrophe s initial is percent c for the char and he got exam score is an integer so that's a percent d on his exam let's do that and then the args are going to be in the same order. Percent %s was Bob again, so name. Percent %c was the initial. And percent %d was the exam score. Put all those right there. Semicolon at the end. And you know what? I spelled initial wrong. Let me fix that. There it is, initial. That's why I had that error. So let's run this program. And you can see that it put it right next to the previous statement, but it, it worked. It just didn't do a carriage return. Bob's initial is B, and he got 100 on his exam. So 
let's split this up. So right before the percent %s, or right after the percent %f, you can do the new line character, percent %n, and that will split that up right there. You could have also put it before this percent %s. And how do I add a percent sign after this 100? All you do is after the placeholder for percent %d, on the, the, which is the exam score, do two of these percents in a row, and it'll print just one out. That's it. So these are our format specifiers. Watch the next video on subspecifiers where we can do even more things with these.